Hey, what's up everyone, it's Sniffle here, we're back with another video. Um, so, the last video, I set the like goal for 3 likes, but you guys absolutely smashed it. You more than doubled the goal, so I'm really happy with that, thank you guys so much. Um, we just had the inspector arrive in our zoo, so... If I can find her, I'll see where there she is. We'll, we'll see how this goes, because now obviously we've got Habitat 24, and the after party with the with the capybaras you know what i mean i'm gonna name these guys something so this one is gonna be gore and if i can find the second one might be yeah there we go Yeah, I'm naming I'm naming them Gort and Quandale Dingle because I mean I I've been watching the Urban Rescue Ranch channel a lot recently and uh, he has baby capybaras with those names and I fucking love them so yeah they're being called that now. Anyways, yeah, let's see where the inspector is. So, all right, she's just checked. Yeah, I've had a problem with the ticket pricing, but like, guests are never happy with the ticket price, so... Hopefully, in today's video, we should be able to get that sorted. Um, there is a few things I want to do for the, today's video. I might try and get these just to look a bit nicer. I might try and add some exhibit animals. And also, we've got to get the new animal, which... Um... Hang on, I'll, I'll load up the comment now. So the animal we're making today was recommended by Superbrand1234, so shout outs to him. Um, so we are going to be making a meerkat enclosure, and he recommended that we put it next to the warthogs, so I will I will be doing that today. I can't wait to get on to that, I've got a few ideas I want to do. Um, I am going to make the meerkats a walkthrough one, which I didn't do with the capybaras, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how a walkthrough one goes. So, yeah. Alright, so the inspector's now having a look at Gort, seeing how, seeing how he's doing. That's, that's Quandale. So Gort's in here, so I'm not sure how she's gonna see him. But, whatever. Alright, so everything's five star. Obviously the education's still gonna be a, a little bit terrible. But that's whatever, we, we can deal with that. Um, I also got to add some new, like, restaurants and stuff in this video, just because, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to try and decide what to do now. And the inspector report has come in. Um, so we've actually upgraded the education to two stars, which is pretty good. And the cleanliness is still five stars, each of the habitats still five stars, so I'm happy with that. So I've decided that to start with, I'm just going to try and make these uh, staff areas look just a little bit nicer. I'm not going to make them look the nicest in the world because I've obviously I've only got like starting stuff at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to see how I can make it look nice if I can at all. So yeah, I got so far we just got this. Hopefully we should be able to make it better. I will try and see what I can do. So, the staff area is done. Like I said, it does look a bit shit, but eh, it, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. It's only, like, beginning shit. I don't have absolutely everything that I can use for construction in the game, so yeah, we'll just keep it as that for now. Alright, so as I said for this video, I'm going to be making a meerkat enclosure. Um, it was told to put it next to the warthogs, um, but I'm not exactly sure where to put it, if I like keep it on this flatter bit of land, or if I try and put it up on this hill or something. So, I'm going to see if, what this area sort of looks like, if it's rain and stuff. I mean, it looks like it can be worked with, so... I reckon I will try and put it somewhere, like, around here maybe, if that works, so, yeah. So, I've just gone over to, like, another side of the zoo, to 
to kind of just plan out the shape for it. So I want to kind of make it like sort of circular. And then, so if I get rid of that, let's see. So I want to try and kind of make it circular, just parts coming out of different sides. So I, sort of like that, you know. I think that might look. So, yeah, let's see if I can try and go for the back. Alright, so I've made a bit of space next to the walkway enclosure and I've put the circular shape down so we can actually have an area for the meerkats. Um, so, when I look in the Zoopedia, it says the group size for meerkats is 2 to 30. So, I'm going to start off with probably about 6 meerkats which means we'll need 250 square meters. So if I put in a quick habitat gate, I'll just, I'll just do a small one because I probably don't need much. Yeah, it's just 1.2 meters. Right, so, hopefully, yeah, that's 1,076 square meters. So we should be all good for that. Um, I do, I look at the meerkats a bit more. So we need plants from Africa in the grassland and desert. Uh, we can have guest sense for habitat, which is good. Alright, so, yeah, up to 20 males, up to 20 females. I'll get, I'll get three males, three females. And it can live with, I, I'm not sure if that's a modern animal, hang on. Yeah, that's a modern animal, so it said it could live with aardvarks. So I, I can get a few of those. Uh, it just depends on... Okay, guests can enter the habitat. So you know what? I'm going to do this as meerkats and aardvarks, I think. I reckon that'd be quite a cool one to do. So I'm going to start a little bit of work on this to see how I can get it. Right, so I was just waiting for some research to be done so I could do something with this habitat. And, Gort and Quandale Dingle, they have just, they've just parked. They've just had sex. And, yeah, Quandale Dingle is now a pregnant woman. Congratulations. Right, so what I've got so far for the habitat um, I've used basically these plastic cones, so I had to do some North American architecture research for those. And then I've just been using the 2x4 savanna rocks. So just, like basically, just make a giant ring around the actual habitat, just to see if they can't escape from that. I'll get back to you when I'm finished with it. Alright, so I've got the basically walls done. I might add a bit more detail to them. Uh, I've also put in a little burrow for the meerkats and the odd box if I add them. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I've done a bit of detailing on the habitat cave, basically just adding arches and then a meerkat sign on top. So I'm going to see what else I can do with this, and then, yeah, I'll just let you know how it's going. Alright, so I basically changed up the terrain, so I've got a little bit of soil here, some rock over here, and Sand here. I've also made a few little like rock piles on the floor and I've added just a little bit of like some of these rocks just around the barrier um, and I've also got a few like part of here so the guests can go in the habitat. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the meerkats now and then, I'll, and then I'm going to get them moved in. Yeah, these are the only ones I can get at the moment, so... Adopted that one. I'm gonna get the male. And then, yeah, once I've got all these, I'll move them in, see what everything's like. And if I can, I will also get some art box. So, I go to the little storage 
I'm just putting up the quarantine though. There we go. Alright, now they should be on their way to the quarantine. So yeah, once that's done, I'll move them into the zoo. And I'll see what everything's like. Alright, so the four meerkats have just finished quarantine. So obviously, all I can do now is put them in the habitat. First off, something I didn't even realise. There's no path connected to it. Something only I would be stupid enough to do. Anyways. Now that there is a path connected, we can move them in. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. I did not realise I didn't click it. Anyways, what's next? I'm probably going to make a second work zone over here. Just some staff stuff. So, I'm going to have Keeper Hut. Uh. I would go with a work actually yeah, I will put a workshop because I need to fix stuff like that. So I'll put that there. And then I'm also gonna need just a staff room around here. If I can Yeah, no, I'm gonna get rid of that because it's just buried halfway in the ground. I'll put it there instead. And our first meerkat has arrived. So, what else do I need? Oh, research center. So that's quite important. I don't know how I forgot that. There we go. And then, should I put... I think I might put a vet so free, just in case. So yeah, that's all that surgery. And let's just let the rest of the meerkats arrive and let's see how everything is for them. So for terrain we need a lot more soil. So I will add in some more now. There we go. That's perfect. Also, what I want to check is just, I doubt there is, but, okay, cool, yeah. They can't escape anywhere. I'll have to set up new work zone for the meerkats and things like that, so. Anyways, yeah, that's what we got. Looking pretty good so far. Again, we've only got the two at the moment, but that will change. I might add some other bugs as well. So... Yeah, hold on. I'll get back to you in a minute. Alright, I've added a couple toys to the meerkat enclosure as well, so I've just got the jet rock sprinkler. I also added a smaller, like, burrow so the meerkats can actually have some shelter, and I also got a large food tray. Um, additionally, I also just hired an extra keeper vet mechanic, just so I can like just make a new work zone for them, so it's just gonna be that one, that two keep two mechanics too. So let's put that in now. Wait, there we go. Okay, actually, let me name it. That's fine. So what we want is just those, that, and that. So that's our that uh, work zone. It's gonna be our second. Closure, staff room, and keep a heart. And then finally, we just need the mechanic work zone. So, I'll put the transformer, staff room, workshop. I'll put this just in case, I'm not sure if we will need it, but yeah, it's going to be the. That's our second mechanic work zone. So, yeah. Now we're expanding the zoo a bit more, which is always nice to see. And I think we need to give the meerkats a bit more. I'm gonna, well, they say they don't need too much plant cover, but I'm going to put some in anyway. So, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll just see what we can get them back in a second. Yeah, actually, probably let me stop recording. Alright, I also just bought two male meerkats and I moved them into the quarantine so then we can just have six meerkats just to start off with. So, yeah. I've also started vet research on the meerkats so we can get some more enrichment and things like that. So, that should be good. Yeah, it says everything's alright at the moment, so everything should be good. Uh, next thing I want to do is price up the aardvarks, see if I can get any, that might be good, so, here we go. I mean, from the looks of things, I should be able to get maybe one or two. I'm not sure if I will, or if I should save them for another habitat. I mean, I could, from the looks of things. There's not many male aardvarks I can get, it's mainly females, so... Plus most of them look like they cost conservation points. If I look up in the Zoopedia actually, so... I want two adults, that's 390 meters. And this has 1080 meters. I mean, yeah, it should be fine. I think I might buy two of them. So I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna get rid of quite a lot of my conservation points, which is a shame. And then I'm also rather get a female with good stats. Yeah, that one's good enough. So, if I also send those to quarantine, then I'll see if those can be moved into the zoo. So yeah, I'll be back in the middle and that's all done. Alright, so, uh, the two male meerkats and also the aardvarks have both finished their quarantine. So I'm going to move them into the zoo, see how the aardvarks do with the meerkats and also the people in here. Hopefully everything should be all good. I'm also going to see it, what enrichment I have for the art box, because, well, it looks like I have quite a lot, to be fair. Got some of the toy enrichment, some food enrichment. So that's pretty good. Oh, wait, hang on. So, Alright, yeah, I'm going to need to use the natural food bowl for the art box. Um, I'm also going to give them some herb scent marker and then I'll also give them a ball if I can I'll give them forage in the box and that should hopefully be everything I'm not sure though so yeah I'll just let them arrive and then I'll see what else I can do okay so we do have a bit of a problem here and that's that both the meerkat and the aardvark are very stressed so yeah as you can see they're trying to hide so um i'm not too sure what to do you might have to add some like plants for them to hide behind so basically if i get some like elephant grass maybe that might be good for them to hide behind. So, if I check on how the art part's doing, it's still not too good. Yeah, no, it's gone down massively. I'm not too sure what to do with this thing. Um, just give me a second while I think about some things to do. So, I have been told that one way to reduce stress is by placing, like, do not disturb signs. I'm gonna hope that this works. They're still, they are still really stressed from the looks of things. 
I mean, the Mick has actually become less stressed now that it's got signs, and so is the Aardvark. That's already really good. And Quan Neo Dingle's about to have a baby. I'm sorry, this is more important. How many? How many we got now? How many other capybaras are pulling up to the function? I gotta see this. I will wait forever if I have to. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward it so it just saves a bit more time. We got baby capybaras. We've got at least three baby capybaras. We have four baby capybaras. This is the best day in our zoo's history, I think. They are so look at the this is amazing. Alright. I am very happy. Anyways. Carrying on with this. This does seem to be reducing animal stress. A lot. Like, they seem so much happier now. So, I think it was a really good idea. Putting these in. They all seem really happy. So. You know what? I'm going to make a little pool for the animals. Try and flatten out an area here. See if I... um, doesn't look like the water there. If I try and just flatten out a bit more, and push it down a bit more, maybe that might work. Yeah, it's not too much, but as long as I can get water out of it, it should be fine. So that means I'll have to uh, build a water facility or two. So hopefully this won't have too much of a negative impact on the gas. Yeah, no, we're still all good. Right, so yeah, that's, that's our meerkat and our aardvark enclosure done. Also, we have a new most appealing habitat species. I'm not sure how I feel about that because my favourite animal in the zoo right now is definitely the capybaras. Especially the baby goats and quad males we have. Anyways, yeah, as, lo as long as we can get visitors and money to continue the zoo, we should be all good. These are still probably going to be the main mascot of the zoo, I think. So, yeah. Anyways, what I wanted to do next is maybe add some shops. Either that, or I'm gonna add a couple of exhibits. So let me just. I'm probably gonna do shops first. Just for like guest thirst and hunger, so I'll do that now. Okay, so I've just been told I've got protesters arriving at my zoo. Who are they protesting for? So they're protesting for this art bark. Do I need more do not disturb signs? Everyone else seems completely fine, except for maybe, yeah, you'll get a bit less happy. What about everyone else? Right.
gonna try and add some more of these signs. I'm not sure if it will work, but it's worth a shot. Just have them around here as well. Hopefully I'll, that should work. I'll let you know if it does. Right, so the aardvarks, I tried a lot of things, I want some more screening plants, some more signs. Doesn't seem to be working though, so what I think I'm gonna have to do is just either, I'm probably just going to quick trade them away and then probably add in some more box at another time. So, I'm gonna, so yeah, I'm going to quick trade both of them. Hopefully I can get some like more box soon, see if I can make another habitat for them where they'll be happier. So yeah, I hope this is just gonna stay at Meerkats for now. But that should be fine because people do seem happy with them. So yeah. Yeah, they all see they all don't seem to be stressed as well, so yeah, everything should be fine. I'm gonna carry on with like making shots now and then we'll be done with that. Alright, so I've added just a gold piece over and a cheese beef. Um so now I'm basically just gonna put around some bins just so we don't have any lists or anything. Because guests get a bit pissed off by that, so Let's see if I can find some nice sweet terrain to put it on. And yeah, I'll just dot these around the zoo when I'm done. There's pretty much one more thing I gotta do. And yeah. That's pretty much be it for this video. So, I added some, like, education stuff to the Meerkat enclosure. Um, there's only one, one thing I really 
do like I want to do now before I end the video, and that's add maybe just an exhibit or two. It'll probably be like, I don't know, spider, something like that. So, yeah, I'll, I'll place down the exhibits now. And I'll, I'll just get a normal, just bare bones exhibit. So I'll put one there. And then I'll probably put another one. I'll put one over here as well. I just have them near that. So we go to exhibit trading. I'm going to get hold on while I decide. Um Yeah, I'll get a tree frog. Well, two tree frogs. And then I will also... Ah, oh, I was hoping that's more actual lottles. I'm gonna get some sort of snake, I think. Maybe an iguana. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a snake. I, if I can find one where it's like two different, like if there's one male, one female. Because obviously I want them to like breed, so I can release it into the wild. Yeah, here we go. So if I send the two tree frogs into here, and I send the two snakes here. And see what type of snakes they are actually. Eastern brown snakes, and we've got obviously the red eye tree frog. So I'm gonna have to quickly make some changes to those, which will just be like temperature, stuff like that. And I'm also gonna have to add these to the work zones. So if I go with just the zoo as a whole, add those couple places. And if I go I'll put, I'll put those in the just so I'm gonna go keep a one. I'll put those there and then there is one. Put those there. Actually wait, no, you can't destroy them. What am I thinking? I'm just being a bit stupid here, sorry about that. Right, anyways, yeah. There we go. That should be everything. So, yeah, we should be done with that. I'll put some education boards down in a minute, but I'll, I'll do that off camera because that's just kind of just the boring stuff. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, if you did enjoy, please leave a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, uh, comment down below what animal you'd like to see next, uh, follow my socials and join my Discord. I'll leave a link to those in the description. Um, since we pretty much doubled the like goal for the last video, I'm going to say I'm going to go up to four likes for part four. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay, I